Jesus. Hey guys, this is T.O. Warren and I am making an update video to the uh, Hellcat Pro uh, 15 uh, conversion to the 17 round magazines. So like and subscribe. And again, this is a experiment, people. This is an experiment. <laughs> and, uh, please uh, like, subscribe. And I'm not letting telling anyone to modify their magazines or anything like that whatsoever. So, um, thank you. Enjoy. Okay. So getting to the update here, the update. Um, so when I first bought this, just a little history lesson. And when I first bought this Hellcat Pro, um, this Hellcat Pro had came with two round, uh, I'm sorry, two magazines and when it came with the two magazines, uh, which were two 15 round magazines, okay? I'm like, oh, I want a third, you know? I want a third um, uh, backup magazine to my backup magazine. You know what I mean? Um, anywho, uh, I was able to find a essentially another... 15 round magazine, which was, uh, which, uh, looked like this one. Um, yeah, I bought it at the store for, uh, essentially like 42 bucks and it was a 15 round magazine, but I have a Hellcat, so it doesn't fit. What? What? So I'm looking at it in a package, right? And I'm in the store looking at it in a package. Um, I then went up to the uh, front desk like, you know, hey, you know, isn't this a 15 round magazine for the Hellcat Pro? But it says Hellcat on the packaging. So just like crap, you know, I really, you know, want another magazine. But, um. <clears throat> The guy didn't know, you know, and he's like, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that goes in the Hellcat Pro. So essentially I started playing with it, trying to play with it through the packaging because I figured as much, I'm like, you know, man, that is a very big base plate. I'm like, no, that's gotta be a sleeve. And it's a sleeve. It's a sleeve for the Hellcat, for the original Hellcat. See what Springfield did was they made 15 round magazines for the Hellcat. So I'm like, okay, I can use these 15 round magazines in my Hellcat Pro. So anywho, the Hellcat Pro, all right, um, which is the big brother to the Hellcat. Uh, this is a 3.7 barrel, 3.7 inch barrel, okay? And the difference is, is what? The trigger and the handle. That's pretty much it. The handle on the Hellcat Pro is longer, whereas the Hellcat is shorter. Okay, I'm going somewhere with this. All right, so buckle up. Um, these here are, huh, let's say these are the 11 
round magazines, the original 11 round magazines to the Hellcats. Essentially, what I ended up doing was uh, in a, well, past video, like I said, this is an update. Springfield made these into 13 round magazines, okay? Putting these base plates on 11 round magazines from what I can see, from what I can see, because this is my opinion what Springfield did. This is only my opinion, okay? They essentially went on ahead and grabbed some 11 round magazines, got this long base plate, this base plate, and voila, turned a 11 round magazine into a 13 round magazine. Because from metal to metal, people, look at the metal, not the base plate, look at the metal, okay? I can't fit 16 rounds into this magazine. I just can't do it, okay? I don't know if you can, you know, but I can't. So, as you can tell from this very long, all right, this is the, the magazine without without the uh, extension. So this is my original OEM magazine, okay? Not modified. Look at that space, okay? Now, I have the 13 round magazines that I have bought from the store, okay? Okay, now, metal to metal, again, like I said, I can't put 16 rounds in my 15 round magazine. Okay, so with this flat base plate, you think you can get 13 rounds in this magazine, good luck. Okay, I doubt it. That's why Springfield put this base plate on this, from what I'm thinking, which is originally an 11 round magazine, Put this base plate and voila, you got a 13 round magazine. All right, so all I did was I just ran with it. Well, you know what? I can go ahead and make this into a 17 round magazine, okay? By taking the OEM 13 base plate, and it is OEM Springfield, Springfield. As you can see, la la, it is OEM. I ride OEM. Um, car parts. I want a car part that I need to change. Guess what? I'm going to go try and find OEM. Because you know why? OEM is a lot better than some sort of, I don't know, third party that's, you know, it. it Warranties. You think about warranties. Um, I mean, you know, I just, I just like OEM. So I see the, uh, the 3D printed base plates that they made, and I don't like them. They, they just, you know, they might be cheaper, but I don't like them. That's just me. I have different tastes. Anywho, um, let's get to the nitty gritty here. All right, this is the nitty gritty. <clears throat> I have in my possession a MMP 17 round magazine. Okay. That MMP 17 round magazine is pretty much how I started thinking about this experiment and wondering if it was going to run. Because I'm not going to lie, I was also concerned as well. And matching up, okay, matching up the base plates from top to bottom. What do you see? This 17 round magazine is pretty much almost the same length uh, with the, the spring of my 15 round magazine. So this is my MMP 2.0. Um, OEM magazine, and this is the Hellcat uh, Pro magazine, OEM 15 round magazines. Okay, so essentially, they look about the same length. 
All right. I'm going off of length. Um, so that's what I'm going off of. Okay. Now I saw on some YouTube channels uh, that people were using, um, as you can tell, hold on one minute. And then I'm going to, I'm also going to show you something else here. That's how much space. Okay. Cause there's like a little, there's a little gap right here. So, um, voila, bam, boom. Um, as you can tell, that's the 17 round. So essentially like I say, probably like a hair, like a hair. This is probably, I mean, the 17 round magazine, of course, is, a uh, just a hair longer. It's a hair longer. So, um, yeah, uh, it goes past the base plate. So essentially, yes, it's going to push the rounds up, um, and so forth. Bam, bada boom. Science experiment, people. Okay. Only difference between these magazines is the coils. The coils are on the MMPs. The coils are actually a lot longer okay so how the springfield coils are actually tighter okay they're tighter uh these are longer so as so if you were to count down on these coils like one one two two three three four four okay five five six six seven seven eight eight as you can see they're getting longer and longer and longer and longer and longer okay all right so but of course like i said i'm looking at length length wise they look almost about the same okay 17 round m and p and 15 round all right uh springfield then of course, um, people were buying a 3D printed extensions and so forth, and um, <clears throat> but no one's buying the springs. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's about the springs. Okay, the springs need to push the rounds back up. Okay, so they need to. It's clear. Um, Springs need to push the rounds up and the follower is going to come up and with the, with the rounds and, you know, in order to cycle the rounds into your firearm. Okay. So I don't see any 17 round springs because that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. But I see people buying base plates. But not springs. Anywho, so instead of buying a 3D printed spring, I decided to go along with the OEM, what Springfield put on the 13 rounder. Now, I did it on a previous video. As you can tell, this is the 13 round Springfield magazine that, um, let's do a comparison here. And well, what do you know? Look at that. It's shorter. Can you tell which one is shorter? So, I noticed that some YouTubers, they were, you know, and I'm not, you know, again, this is an experiment. So they were, um, some YouTubers were saying that they were taking the 13 round spring and putting them into, uh, the 15 round magazine. And I didn't want to do that because I, you know, trying to stay OEM as much as I possibly can with the specs. So I ended up, um, using my 
15 round magazine as the 17 round magazine. And there was another reason why I didn't do that as well. Uh, if you go into depth here, and that's what I'm doing because this is an experience, science. I am counting the coils, okay? So let's count the coils together, all right? Count, you ready? All right, let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Holy crap, I'm missing anyone. This one has fourteen, but this one has thirteen. Oh crap. Uh, this one is longer, people. It's longer. So this one has 14 coils. This one has 13 coils. Okay. So that's the difference in the spring. Okay. Between the 13, which 11, 13 round magazine and the 15 round magazine is that this one has, in which I just counted, 13 coils. And this one has 14 coils. And I have them facing the same way. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go along with the 15 rounder uh, for, you know, for the modification that I just did. Because to me, it only made sense. Okay. There we go. Voila. Okay, so putting this stuff back together. Uh, grab my MMP here. Yeah, so putting this stuff back together. Um safe to say that, you know, I was, you know, of course, with all experiments, you know, you're going to expect, you know, hey, it's going to be some sort of, um, some sort of, you know, negative thing that's going to happen. But, um, I mean, every experiment has different results and so forth. And, Surprising to say, you know, I did my experiment, I did the results, and I'm not trying to change anybody's mind or anything, but, you know, this is just, you know, what I did um, for an experiment. You guys can all tell the metal to metal portion because again like i said before i can't get 16 rounds into this magazine okay i can't there's no possible way so that is a reason why i came to the conclusion of this experiment is because i figured that this is base plate and like i said i'm only going oem i'm not I'm not about to, um, and they don't sell springs. Again, they don't sell springs. They sell the base plates, but they don't sell the springs. So, you know, which is, you know, you think they're going to sell the springs, but they don't sell the springs uh, to get the, you know, the tension. But, you know, until Springfield comes up with some longer springs, you know, hey, um, hopefully that make a 17 uh round magazine looking forward to Springfield <laughs> but you know um so the way that I ran this uh I ran this at the range and you guys are gonna possibly see the video shortly but um again this is clear so so what I did was I ran it fat blade base plate because you know uh I don't want it, you know, I'm, I don't want to print, so I didn't want it sticking out my shirt or anything, but I ran it fat base plate, and then as a reload, 
I ran it with the modified 17 round magazines and so forth. Okay, so that's how I ran it. So when you guys see the video, uh, I was quite impressed because I actually had more, you know, I had more grip, uh, especially at the bottom. This became pretty much like a foil, uh, a, a full um, gun, a full size gun. This is uh, this is my M and P. Okay, so this is my M and P. This one holds seventeen rounds, and all right. So you notice the uh, the grip here. The grip is I got a full grip. Okay, on this seventeen round. M and P. All right. Look at the difference between these two. The difference between these two. <laughs> so, um, but oh wait a minute. Hold on. There you go. Okay. So as you can tell, all right. I'm gonna put my hand down here, and I'm just gonna see that. All right, so the spring is working uh, because if it wasn't, then I wouldn't be able to just, you know, pull that back and it just, you know, it locks open like that. So it wouldn't do that uh, if the spring was not working. But anywho, so in a nutshell, again, this is how I came to my experiment and um i hope you guys like the the range video and um again like and subscribe and uh, again i'm not telling anyone to modify their guns or modify the mass or do any modifications i am not a gunsmith and just a guy that's just doing an experiment and um i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the results uh, when I was at the range running it, um, had a full grip. Uh, I did actually like some of my, uh, uh, well, you will see it. Anywho, um, take care guys and, uh, be safe. Thank you.